four, yeah, four. Um, she's actually doing pretty well. Um, we've had a few little setbacks. Um, one was with the farrier. It wasn't the farrier's fault, to be fair. Um, and I didn't realize that she would react the way she did, but um, this wasn't anything to do with the back feet. The mere fact that he was there sent her off into a, like, a meltdown of trembling and yeah, it's hard to see on a horse when they're so scared. Um, bottom line is we ended up only doing her front feet I, and I made the call not to do a back feet at this time. Although I haven't said that, they, um, they are looking pretty nice because they've self trimmed. So that's good. Um, been working with her a little. Um, actually, it's the first time today that I brought her into the round pen. I don't actually do much in the round pen. Um, and I'm certainly not one for chasing them around and around. I'm figuring this horse has had enough chasing around. But, you know, 10 years ago, yeah, I would have done that. But now, no, I don't do that anymore. Um, I'm not sure of the point. I know people say, oh, no, you get to hook on, blah, blah, blah. No, I. It, no, it doesn't work like that, I don't think, anyway. And it, it's sort of, it's almost, you know, is that five? Um, it's almost making it so hard for them, and I don't think they need that. Uh, you know, and I don't think it's about making a connection either. I mean, people, you know, these days they talk about connections and the connection with your horse, blah, blah, blah. I don't actually think a connect connection is the right term. Trust, maybe, but not connection. And the reason I say that is because horses are connected to other horses. And it doesn't matter if I'm here with a horse. If another horse is in here too, and that horse spooks whatever reason or, or whatever, she is going to be want to be with that. She's going to do what that horse does, which is, you know, spook herself or run off herself. She's not going to stay with me. I'm talking about you no know, lying on or anything. Um, so uh, trust, I think, is, is a much better word. Um, but even that has limitations. Um, I think we have to we have to look at them as if we try and understand what's going on in their heads and adjust ourselves to that and not um, and not react to certain things. And that way, if the calmer we are, and you can't fake it, of course, but the calmer we are, the better it is. Um, so, you know, less anxiety. Um, and yeah, for some people it's hard, especially if it's the first time you've been around, you know, haven't been around horses for very long. Um, but it really is a something to work on for most people. You can use mindfulness and that sort of thing as well. I mean, horses are great for that. Also, um, I know, I know, I know you're standing here doing nothing, huh? Um, and that again is like just just to do nothing, just stay with your horse and do nothing. It's like it's just so simple. You don't always have to be doing something. Um, doing anything with it I could but I don't need to because what am I gonna do anything I'm you know all the things that I needed to do she's already doing she'll step back and all I want is a spider's web of, good spider's web of tension I don't I don't need to go do back as you see people doing back all I need to do with is just a little bit like that I don't want to break the spider's web Perfect. And she stepped back. What more can you ask for? You know, so we don't need to get aggressive with these horses. They need to learn that all of them, I don't care whether they're, they're rescue horses or not, they need to learn that we are not there as a predator to hurt, to confuse, intimidate, let our egos get the better of us. And um, and just be with them, and and try and understand 
what their feelings are, you know, what's going through their minds, and then changing ourselves to align with that. So that's what I try and do. Not always, I don't always, I don't always get right, but that's what I try and do. So bottom line, she's making a lot of progress. Um, feet, we're getting better. The back feet, we're getting better with the back feet. I've already done them today, so I'm not going to do them again. Um, front feet, not a problem at all. So, so yeah. But she clearly has triggers that make her tremble, and we need to work with that. And I'll be, as I say, I'll be working with her with uh, farrier tools, although albeit not actually trimming her feet. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Um, I know that it's not action, action, action in the videos that I do, but there's a reason for that. I don't want action, action, action all the time with these horses. I want to be mellow and chill. So thank you, and hopefully we'll see you next week. And I may actually do a different horse next week um, because we have several that need attention. Yeah? You want to go turn the camera off with me? Okay. Come on. Come on. Good girl. You want to come? All right.